And we are leaving St. George Monastery and we are actually sneaking into Palestine. And uh, soon wait to see one of the most beautiful views of Jericho. To your right side, you cannot see it. We will see it from Jericho. You will see part of the fortress that the Hashmonite family, the Maccabees family built. Uh, Jericho was so important to everyone that everyone built here palaces. Everyone, uh, because it's a border, you're crossing to the other side, you had to pay a lot of money. That's why we will talk later on about the sycamore tree and Zacchaeus, which was a tax collector. And Hassan is our driver. Hassan, say hi. <laughs> I love that road. And thank, again, thanks to Hassan. It is car. <laughs> and I will take a video, then he agree. You agree to do that. <laughs> then I can see already, but you will see it when we return right, the Jordan Valley and Jericho. Look to your left side. Say hello to Jericho! And I'm the only one who is happy here. Yeah. Oh, that's no. Jer happy, happy, happy. Jericho. Yeah, yeah, Jer Jericho. We're going to visit. All oh, right. Now, look at, look at that. Jericho. <laughs> today, yeah, today it's only 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I know, <laughs> compared to Jerusalem. But in uh, summertime, it can reach to 110. Uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Not easy. Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Riz. Oh, yes. Yeah, Death Valley in Vegas. You're right. Summertime. Summertime. But here it's summertime all year, except the two rainy days. One of them actually I was at the Dead Sea when it was boring. Not today. Not today. Beautiful, beautiful way. And still I believe that so many pilgrims who didn't like the Romans used that road, used that valleys. You can imagine, you can understand those uh, monks that wanted to be close to Jerusalem but far from the people, close to God. And uh, you saw St. George Monastery, we're going to visit the Temptation one later on amazing look if you are not afraid of heights look to the left yeah. if you are afraid of heights don't look to the left and jericho is in front of us jericho is an oasis full of water lots of spring then look up how green it is Today we're gonna eat in one of the best restaurant of uh, of Jericho. Cheap food, quality food, lots of uh, lots of uh, vegetables that uh, I believe that are still um, in the field. They're gonna harvest it soon. That's gonna be uh, fresh and nice. Can we get a banana? Of course, the million bananas there, and and um, lots of dates, lots of dates. King Herod said that the best dates used to be here. Welcome to Jericho! Yay! Ah! <laughs> ah, don't worry. We have Hassan. Later on, he will kill me. <laughs> but now he's happy. <laughs> then, if you're talking about that, uh, look at the canals. It takes the water from the spring straight to so many um, agriculture fields here. A wheat mill is to your right side. No, it's okay. And we're entering to Jericho. Where's the army point? Where's the barrier? To 
there's no one here. There's no one here. Now, we will start from um, two places. The first one is the ancient city of Jericho. Remember, we talked about that place as one of the most important places in the world, not only in Israel, because if you wanted to conquer the world, you must conquer Israel. If you wanted to conquer Israel, you must conquer Jericho. And, as, and remember, we talked about <laughs> agriculture people like them, that want to just to enjoy life and every two years someone else destroying their village and doing something else. The first Palestinian taxi still left right now. Then in that matter, they decided to build walls, but they don't know how to build walls. Then they hire someone and then you have to pay for that. Someone must take care of it. Then this is the first mayor in the world. All right, now we do have walls and you're gonna see how massive the walls are. But now we need soldiers. We don't know how to be soldiers. Then every family gave one of two children from their family and they became soldiers. Then slowly, slowly, from a small village, it became to be the one of the most ancient cities in the world, if not the most ancient city of the world. Jericho, which you already know that the meaning of Jericho is the moon and you already saw that the v moon view looks like it but you will see it better later on when we'll visit the place that Jesus was baptized. And Yitzhak, this is uh, about 7,000 years ago? No, we are talking about 9,000 years ago and I'll try to convince you that it's 10,000 years ago okay, as a city, <laughs> not as a village. I mean there are villages from 15,000 years ago, but as a city. But now you know why. Location, location, location. And I'm not sure that most of the Jericho people actually visit that road that we are visiting. But we are visiting it. And in less than one minute, we will reach the center of the city. It's a small city. And if you are looking for the most ancient city, there are things some of you are looking for, at least Las Vegas. That's not. It's not. Remember that, that 12 tribes, when they entered to Canaan, they actually conquered that city together with um, Joshua. They had to go to make a run tour around the city. It sounds like a million hours. You will see that it will take you one hour. That is the area, and it's difficult to see from here, that King Herod built himself a palace. Now, we don't have children, but I can tell you immediately that one day he invited all of them to a swimming pool. I mean, he had a lot of swimming pools here. There's a lot of water here. And everyone were floating, although the water weren't from 